you wanna fly like this? In this video I will tell you how to attach tanks to your attack plane. So first of all, let's start with the side. I tried it on Turkish, German, American and British side and only Turkish plane seems to work. I guess it's because like the difference between upper and lower wing in the Turkish attack plane is the biggest and also the lower wing seems to be the lowest out of all planes, the closest to the ground. So for the plane, it's attack plane, there is also a small chance you are able to do it with bomber but I don't expect it to work well because I tried it and mostly I failed. So when it comes to the tank you can either attach light tank or land ship. You can try one or two or possibly even more but in this video I'm gonna tell you, show you how to do it with one or two tanks. So the best map for this in my opinion is the Sinai Desert. I don't know if there are other maps that have uh, Turkish airplanes, I can't quite remember. But this map is really easy because you have a lot of open space so you can safely land on the sand and then go with your tank there. So how to do it? Well it's pretty simple so first of all you have to land with your attack plane and then damage your wings. You just shoot your right wing or left wing or both of them so they are damaged and then use light tank to drive in them. Basically drive in them, you are in the middle of them and, and at this moment the pilot of attack plane has to repair the plane. So if you repair the plane your wings will be fixed and you will jump into air right away. With this thing you can fly super super high, you can even fly like above the clouds or something like that. Here is a little clip that shows how high we actually get that our friend filmed that. So it's pretty hilarious how high you can get but you have to be aware there is a big chance that you will crash using this thing. Most of the times we are fine flying but keep in mind there is such a chance that you will crash on them. And there is also other tank you can use which is land ship but it works a little different. With landship you have to approach the attack plane from the front by landship going forward. It's really important that it goes forward not backwards towards the plane. And you can also have one or two. It's a little harder to do it with landship than light tank but it's still possible. This way you can also kinda stop in the air. So what you need to do once you reach your altitude is basically slow down so your propeller turns off. And this way you can kinda hang in the air so maybe the tanks that you have there are like freely attacking the target right now. Keep in mind that when you are like gaining altitude with tanks on your wings you may kind of be spinning around and it may be slightly and it may be pretty hard to control let, let's be clear but if you can make it in the real game it can be super fun I must say. As some of you probably also know you can also use your plane to like transport some of your people so basically make them jump on the wings and then you can fly with them so that's a little extra thing. There's also one pretty important thing when it comes to that. So once you are in the air in the attack plane or a tank there is pretty much no way to detach the tank from the airplane. You can shoot, you can do whatever you want and you won't fall down. The only way to like detach the tank from the plane is pretty much getting out of the plane or getting out of the tank. There's also one little thing so when you are in a tank that's like attached to the plane be sure you don't leave fields of battle because as you know the plane map is bigger than like map for all the other vehicles and people so what may happen that attack plane may be in the map but tank may be out of map and what's gonna happen is that when you leave the fields of battle tank is gonna explode and basically you're gonna you're both gonna die so keep that in mind be sure to stay in the fields of battle when you are in the tank if you have any questions regarding this then be sure to ask me them in the comment section and for the rest of the video I'll play some epic music so you can enjoy the plane flying with tanks attached to it. So see you guys!